Hello and welcome to the Edu Leaders show on the Edu Bulletin where we bring you the latest insights and trends from the world of education. I'm Jessica and I'm excited to guide you through this episode. We have an esteemed guest joining us, Venkat Raman Umakant, Senior Vice President and Head, Hayami, shared insights into how the AI-based assessment platform is revolutionizing employability in India by offering free assessments and career guidance, especially to underserved communities. Now, let's move directly into our interview. Over to you, Rumani. Let's hear what Sir had to say. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have with us an esteemed guest. He is Mr. Venkatraman Umakan, Senior Vice President and Head, Hired Me. So, welcome to the summit, sir. Thank How you so much. How are you being here in Hyderabad it's, for uh, 26th Education Summit by Time to Grow Media? It's been fabulous so far. Mm. Uh, right from the way it has been organized, the kind of stakeholders that you've gotten. <laughs> because I'm, I'm very regular with some of these events. And right. what I see is, in a lot of cases, uh, while you invite someone, uh, mm-hmm. they send somebody else as a right. backfill, right? Um, here, I think the audience that you've had is a very relevant audience. And of oh. course, the beginning you had the MP as well, right. which is very good. I wish he had stayed a little longer <laughs> or we could have had a round table with him. Right, but right. yeah, uh, very good. And I think it is a Saturday well spent. <laughs> <laughs> That's great to hear, sir. So, first of all, tell us about... Uh, how is your company hired me? Is you know, what is the field that it is in, and how is driving employability in India? Great. So hire me is in the AI-based assessment platform. Okay. And uh, we started about seven years back. Mm-hmm. And while we talk about made in India today, this yeah. is actually made in rural India, not even okay. in uh, India. So that way we started off with that journey, and our vision mm-hmm. was very clear to make sure that no talent is unemployed or underemployed. Right. And uh, what we did that is, um, if you look at typically the corporate world, Mm -hmm. the companies go to the tier one, tier two colleges to hire, right? Uh, Because of paucity of time and Mm -hmm. the probability of finding talents as well. So we want to make sure the other underserved communities, because there are talents available everywhere. So how do we really tap into that? Now, how do we address this problem? Right. So we actually opened up this assessment, which is free of cost, uh, which is AI proctored. And that's Mm -hmm. why corporates trust the score. Otherwise... They will say students have taken, so they could mm. have been malpractices. Mm. Right. So uh, we started on that journey, and mm. um, till date we have close to eight lakh students who have completed the assessments. Right. And uh, almost one in three, three lakh students have got opportunities from corporates, and seventy percent of them are, are from tier four, which oh. is absolutely underserved community. Absolutely. So that's something which very closely aligns with what we had set forward to yeah. in terms of vision. And uh, last year we got recognized by the Rockefeller Foundation in the U.S. Uh, as a Global Impact Sourcing Award. And still a long way to go, but it's a good start. That's great to hear, sir. I'm sure you have more mountains to climb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, as we talked about assessing the student's strength, yeah. so how do, you, how do you make possible that that particular strength is matched with the right kind of job? Because often we see that, you know, parents force students to, you know, engineer banja, beta, or doctor banja. <laughs> so, how do you change that, you know? Right. Uh, make sure that the students get the perfect job according to their, you know, strengths. Yeah. So before I answer that, I just want to add a point to the mm-hmm. previous point, right? Because typically when we talk about this, people think, okay, we're doing all this free. So uh-huh. what is the business model? Right. So this is a CSL and obviously for sustenance, we need money. Right? Right. So what we do is we offer our assessment platforms, yeah. which has different kinds of assessments, whether it's a coding, psychometric, speech proficiency analyzer. Yeah. Yeah career navigation and so right. on. All of right. these kind of assessments are used by academic institutes, yeah. typically colleges, universities. Okay. Corporates use it for talent acquisition, talent management. Yeah. Right. And now, of course, schools yeah. as well. And that's how we make money to really sustain and give back to the society. Absolutely. Now, so, coming back to the yes. second question. Uh, the second question was about how you make sure that the student's strength is matched with the correct profession. Right. So, um, one of the major problems that we face today, mm-hmm. especially students between, say, the 8th to the 12th standard, mm-hmm. almost everybody goes through the dichotomy of which direction right. to take. And most often it is influenced by parents or society. Uh, or even if the candidates are very clear about it, they might have been so sort of, uh, I would say, looking at only one option that they probably ignored, looking yeah. at all other options which could interest them. Right. right. And uh, if you look at career counselors today, uh, the need as per statistics that says we need about 15 lakh career no. counselors in India no. and we have only 1 lakh. Oh God. And 1 lakh again, if you really dig deeper, I don't think they'll be probably equipped enough right. in terms of how the trends no. are changing because the mm-hmm. job market is changing so fast. Yeah. 
so that's the reason we actually got our psychometricians, uh, career counselors, all of them together and uh, build something. So that first step is to really give them exposure to the various options which are available. Right. So we offer about 137 different career options. Okay. Right, which students can go through and see whether this would interest them. Hmm. And they select top five. Right. And it's not that, okay, I aspire for this five, so it recommends. Hmm. Because it depends on whether you they have the potential to really reach there as well. Hmm. Because if we ask Sachin Tendulkar to sing, hmm. he would have been Sachin Tendulkar. Absolutely. Right? So we look at the personality and attitude of them <laughs> and map that and say, okay, out of the five that you chose, right. which are the ones which really fits your thing mm -hmm. and doesn't stop there. It yeah. also gives you the strengths in the area of improvement. So mm -hmm. in case, today you may not be ready for that, but mm -hmm. if you bridge those gaps, you become ready. Absolutely. Then we provide those colleges or mm -hmm. the entry point for getting into that career. For example, if somebody wants to become, say, an uh, engineer, right? Hmm. You could say, okay, you know what, one IITJ is one entrance exam. You have, these are the top entrance exams, right. these are top colleges. Hmm. And then it also recommends what could be the potential employers for them, hmm. right? So it's a very holistic approach that we use. That's great to hear, sir. So at last, I would like to talk to you about the changing trends in the assessment sector. So your yeah. thoughts on that and what are the key elements that are changing? In okay. So the major change that is happening in the mm -hmm. employment space is actually on shift from the degree certificate based learning uh, or hiring rather into yeah. a skill based hiring. Okay. So today people are looking at whether you have the potential to deliver what they expect yeah. you to. So degree certificates, I'm not saying it doesn't matter, it does, but at the end of the day if you're not able to prove those skills, yeah. uh, it's of no use. Right? So that's a major shift which has happened. For example, mm -hmm. companies like Google, Microsoft, even us for example, uh, we look at if a guy has a potential, even mm -hmm. if it's a BCom grad, absolutely fine, doesn't matter. Right. right. So, of course, along with that, you look at your attitude and all of that, which is very important. So, that is one uh, major shift which has happened. The other thing in the assessment space, if you look at it, uh, maybe about a year, two years back, we had only the IT, ITS companies or top manufacturing companies huh. who had a very process-oriented approach. They right. would do that. Today, we see a lot of these uh, real estate companies. Mm. In fact, a couple of them, we got Hata makers as well. Right. Come in and say, we would want to use assessments, so, mm. which means that they want to use a scientific approach mm. to make sure their hiring cycle is reduced and they really identify the right talent as well. Absolutely. So that's the major shift which is happening. And I think you are doing a you know, phenomenal job of mm. bridging this gap between the job seekers and the job providers. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I think Time to Grow is also playing a critical role in terms of connecting that ecosystem, I think that's very, very important. Absolutely, sir. So, for last two words on the Edubilitan, which is the exclusive channel for the educators. Yeah. So, your thoughts on how, you know, it is important for the education industry. No, it's, it's extremely important, I would say, yeah. because what you're doing today, even what was done today, is right. about getting the right stakeholders, mm -hmm. connecting them, right. uh, being making them aware of what's available, right? Mm -hmm. It's not about just hiring me, even we got to know about what are the other vendors doing in the market, what's right. there to offer, okay. what's required in the market. Hmm. So I think uh, those are the initial steps that are required to really bridge the gaps that are there in the market. So I think it's very much required and I uh, hmm. wish all the best for time to grow as well, that Thank they keep you. growing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. And sure. we are sure that we'll be having much more collaborations with the future. Absolutely. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this enlightening discussion. We hope you found it as insightful and inspiring as we did. Save the number 8534845670 and send hi on WhatsApp for updates on the EduLeaders show featuring inspiring interviews from the education sector.